This is the new travel carbon fiber tripod by Freewell and it weighs less than a kilogram. And let's compare it to my favorite tripod of all times, also made out of carbon fiber, Ulanzi and Komen Zero Y. Let's go. So guys, as you can see, you can use those tripods with small mirrorless cameras under five kilograms or with smartphones. And here comes the first coolest feature. One of the coolest feature of this Freewell tripod is that the Arca Swiss plate, which comes in the box, is also transformable to a phone holder. So you will have a Arca Swiss plate and a phone holder at all times with you. Great feature, love it. So guys, as you can tell, the maximum height is a little bit different. It's like plus seven or 10 centimeters on the Ulanzi tripod, but oh no, this height is more than five for most scenarios. But what is different is the system in which they work in terms of extension of the legs. So you have a central column on both of those, but the legs collapse in this way. So you twist the whole construction with here, in here, and you collapse it and then you lock it. So one movement for all four sections, one, two, three, four, even maybe say five uh, sections of this tripod. So this makes it really fast and convenient. In a few minutes, I'll show you the test of how fast I can make it work and then collapse it back to the transportation mod. So all in all, this is fine. Olazi, on the other hand, has four latches and you can actually have a little screw and kind of twist the latches to make them tighter a little bit. In here, it is what it is for most of the time. But all in all, this system should be a little bit faster. Also right here, guys, you can see Apple AirTag little attachment, so you can put an AirTag in here. It also holds the Allen key, which can be used to um, tighten those little knobs, which is nice. Also, guys, as most of the tripods these days, we have little latches right here. So if you push this button, you can actually change the angle of the leg. It can be one, two or three. So you can put it in a really low position, like super low to the ground. Also, the central column can be detached. The lower part of it can be detached and you can put it even lower to the ground or you can remove the center column completely and turn it upside down and film something with a really low angle. And Olanzi tripod also does have this feature. So it's more or less comparable in this regard. And right now, guys, let's have a look at how fast I can assemble and disassemble those two tripods with the extension of the central column. So let's go. My hands are almost dead, guys. <laughs> but what's much more interesting, guys, is the head itself. So on Ulanzi, we have a little latch and a ball head, but you don't have a tilt axis. You only have the pan axis and you can make a little like a slow pan. But remember, guys, that it won't be super slow and fluid and on this head as well. But this head does give you more capability. So first of all, you have your pan position so you can adjust the pan and lock it. Also, you have the tilt. So you loosen the handle a little bit and you have this tilt axis. I'll show you the footage of how fluid it is with a real camera like this. And also you have your another pen axis so you can use it. You undo this red knob and you have one more pen axis so you have two pen axis. And also guys you have a traditional ball head right here so you simply rotate it in any position and then you lock the ball head and you can make it in a totally vertical position and in a horizontal position whichever is more suitable to you. It also has a bubble level, but it's hidden behind the plate, the camera plate itself. The same issue does appear to be in the Ulanzi tripod. I do wish that manufacturers will make some kind of a bubble level outside of the ball head itself, maybe somewhere else to be able to watch it while your camera is mounted to the tripod. But all in all, this ball head and this head in general is more useful. One more great feature is that the Freewell tripod does come with three quarter inch threads, one here and two right here. So you can attach different accessories like phones, monitors, etc. Whereas the Ulanzi has only one right here. 
One more important feature is that the hook underneath the tripod column is also an Allen key or a hex key so you can tighten different sections but be careful guys because this key tends to unscrew during some shakiness and you have to be careful not to lose this key because with this tripod I did find myself uh, hearing that the key is dropped and it's somewhere else uh, and I found it but basically you can lose this key so be careful with this tripod I didn't experience this yet but I've been using it only for like a week and this tripod is for like I don't know eight months probably and I took it abroad to different shoots and guys it's a pleasure to bring it everywhere with you and the size difference is almost identical but the weight difference is 200 grams you can say that 200 grams is not a lot but actually guys it does appear to be a pretty nice difference so without cameras when i hold them side by side in my hands i do feel that the ulanzi is a little heavier one more advantage of Ulanzi tripod is that you can have a separate set of feet. So here we have the rubber feet, but you can also have some spikes, which I haven't used a single time. But still, if you are in the snowy environment or on a grass or somewhere else on uneven terrain, you can use those spikes to have a more stable and more secure position. On the free well, we only have those rubber feet and they are not detachable and it is what it is for this tripod and it can be a little unstable and slippery in this kind of environment because here we have some snow and it's kind of a, you know, people walk all around and it's a little slippery right here. So now let's test the quality of the pan and tilt axis. So here it is, let's hit record double clap for the synchronization so here is the tilt axis let's have a look so here is the tilt speed you get i'm trying to be really gentle with this so here is the tilt axis you cannot do this with the ulanzi tripod so now let's lock the tilt axis and unlock the pen axis and try to pen with this little handle so we go this way oh no this is only for this kind of tilt so we have to unlock another axis right here so here it is so let's try to pan a little bit to the left like so a little bit to the right like so and now let's try to combine the pan and the tilt so let's try to pan and tilt at the same time it won't be super smooth as, as you can see but still you can get it uh, with the stabilization in post to a certain level of smoothness. And also both tripods do come with the carrying bags. Also you get a ton of Allen keys with the Freewell tripod, which can be stored in sight right here on the bottom. But both bags are simple bags. You cannot store anything else but the tripods themselves. Thank you kids, you're doing amazing. <laughs> Let's move on. And finally, guys, about the prices. So the Freewell tripod is $250 on Freewell's website and it's 50 bucks less than the Ulanzi tripod with all of the discounts and special deals for this tripod. And the Ulanzi tripod is two times less expensive than the Peak Design tripod, which was an inspiration for Ulanzi company to make this kind of a really super lightweight carbon fiber tripod. So you get a 50% less price, uh, not 50%, 50 bucks less price with a Freewell tripod, a lot more features in my opinion, and it's also 200 grams lighter, which is a must for this kind of tripod. I cannot say anything about this system in terms of durability, this type of locking mechanism, but I hope this will last a long time. And I will bring those two tripods to my different interview shoots because it's much more convenient than having one camera on a tripod and another on a light stand that I've been using for a really long time. And the light stand is almost as heavy as this tripod, around 900 grams, but it's not as convenient even with a ball head. So all in all guys, I can highly recommend purchasing either of those tripods. I do love new features of the Freewell and especially this little, um, tripod plate which actually doubles as a phone holder that's some genius engineering in here and guys if you did enjoy this video please smash the like and subscribe buttons and hit the notifications bell see you in the next video guys take care bye